Hey guys, welcome back to another Trade Robot video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable alerts in chat and how to get your alerts up on screen on OBS and uh, and all that sort of good stuff. The video is going to be quite a rough one, guys. I don't have that much time to edit it, but loads of people have asked me for help, so I'm going to try and put something really, really concise and, and quick, but potentially rough and, and ready together for you. Hopefully, you can follow along. It shouldn't be that difficult. So, to get alerts in your chat when somebody follows, subs, spells, or joins, all you want to do is head over to the alerts.json folder which can be found in your trovo bot folder plugins alerts you want to edit it and you want to set active to true that is literally all you need to do once you've done that you save your file and restart your bot by doing exit and then run it again once you've done that, your bot will start responding to people in chat when they follow, join, sub, spell, etc. right? You do have a set of default messages here. So when somebody follows, for example, it will come up and say, thank you, user, for following or for the follow, right? So if I wanted to come up and say, thank you, user, for following, right? That's it. I literally change the text and restart the bot. The next person that follows will get that alert. Super, super simple. So you guys can work that out. You just go through and do that. Next up, you want to get OBS working. There are two things you need to know before we head on over to OBS. The first is that you need to enable the OBS connection. To do that, you go to Trovo bot, services, OBS, open up OBS.json and set the active to true again. Once again, save, exit the bot, restart the bot, and you are done. The next thing you absolutely need to be aware of is that in your Trovo bot folder, you have this folder called labels, right? And in labels, you have your follow count, latest follow, latest join. So if I open this text file, Grizzly Adams 008, I appreciate you, mate. Thank you for following. While we're on the subject, guys, if these videos are helping you, please do drop me a follow. My link is trovo.live forward slash griff. It's much appreciated. And it's great to see you guys in chat coming and saying thanks for, thanks for the info because I literally only do this because I know it helps some of you out. Now the plug's out the way, just be aware of that because we're going to need that when we head into OBS. Okay, right, let me explain what's going on here. So above me, we have my channel open, logged in as my girlfriend's account. Why are we logged in as my girlfriend's account? Because she has a shitload of mana that she doesn't spend on me. So I'm going to use it to cast spells to prove to you that this stuff works. In the top corner, we've got the alerts.json file. I've got that open because there's some really important stuff in there that you guys need to know to get this working. And then in the bottom corner, we've got my OBS setup, which is already kind of set up as it needs to be. So you may be able to guess what we're going to do. So let me explain to you how it works. Somebody comes along and casts a spell in your chat. The bot goes, yo, we've just had a spell. Let's go into OBS and find the scene called alerts, right? Then let's find a source called spell. And then what it does is it just activates the source and says, flash this up for however long it is. I think it's 10 seconds by default and then get rid of it. So what we need to do, obviously I've already done it, is you create, an, uh, you create a scene called alerts. Make sure it's spelt perfectly with the dashes. It has to match what's in the, uh, in the JSON file over here. Excellent. Then in your sources, you create a source called spell over here, right? I've got one. It's currently got nothing in it. So all we have to do is we quickly add. So we add some text, right? Whatever it is, doesn't matter. This is just to prove a point. So here's the text, right? We drag that text into the spell folder. And what's really important is we hide the spell folder because what we want is the bot to show the folder and then to hide it, obviously, because that's 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 why we're doing alerts. So let me head on over to my girlfriend's account and I'll cast a quick spell. Boom. So as you can see, the text that we've put on the in the in the thing has popped up and now has disappeared, right? Perfect. Almost there. That's exactly what we want. So now if we open that text layer. What we can now do is we don't want it to say random letters. We want it to read from a file and we want it to give us the last spell. So Griff's gal, that's my girlfriend's account. That's the last person to cast a spell, right? So now I go and cast another spell on her account. Again, it pops up with her name now because that's what's in the file. So somebody else comes along and casts a spell. The file gets updated with their name and then the spell thing comes up saying their name, which is perfect. Right, so what if you want to make it look a little better? Here's one I made earlier, just down here. So I've basically made the just cast a spell using Photoshop. You could use it using text. It doesn't actually matter. I used it using Photoshop. I, uh, to be fair, I don't really know why I did. I could just use text. Anyway, um, and then I've added the spell name and put it in green because then my Twitch alerts are purple, Facebook alerts are blue, YouTube alerts are red, and Trovo alerts are green for when I'm streaming on all platforms, right? To the point, looks just like Streamlabs. So then when you cast a spell, bang. Griffscale has cast a spell, which she has. Thank you, Griffscale. Pops up, disappears. Literally, you can put anything you want in this folder, guys. You can put video files. You can put GIFs. You can put sounds. If you want a sound alert, you just put it in there. And, uh, and that is literally all you need to do. 
So really, really, really importantly, remember your folders in your sources have to match exactly what the words are here. And as long as they do, that's it. That's all you've got to do. And then guys, all you have to do is head on over to your scene. So whichever scene you want your alerts to work on, then you go to add, you say scene, you add alerts, and that is literally it. And then I finally cast one more spell. You'll just have to take my word for the fact I'm doing it. Boom. There's the alert. As I said, do it with all of the other stuff, all of the follow um, spells, sub, etc. And, uh, and that's it. That is literally how you get it working. Hope that's helped, guys. If it has, obviously drop me a follow, trevo.live forward slash griff. Next up, custom commands, potentially. Uh, there's a load of other stuff people are requesting. So as I find out, as and when I find out, I'll make a video and, uh, and hook you guys up. But yeah, I appreciate all of your support. It keeps me motivated to do more stuff like this. So yeah, hope it's helped, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.